So, this is fondue. Healthy fruit dipped in decadent melted chocolate. I'm Zaf. Let me tell you why teaching is like delivering a delicious chocolate fruit fondue. Fondue is a great metaphor for the approach that I use to deliver teaching materials to my medical students. Fruit is the information we teach. The chocolate is how we deliver the information in an enticing way. So for my students, I cover my teaching materials in the chocolate of storytelling, cooperative and competitive games, role plays and music. Let me introduce you to my 14 year old son. He is part of what we call Gen Z or Generation Z here in Australia, otherwise known as the Zoomers. Number one, Zoomers love gaming. This game is Minecraft. In fact, they have no idea of what life was like before the internet and computer games. Number two, they love interacting with their friends, even if it's just digitally. He has an iPad open with his Discord chat room on. Number three, they don't always hear what you say the first time because they're always wearing headphones. So this is my son, but he is also typical of the students that I teach in my third year medical school class. And this is my Generation Z medical school class, 204 students, approximately 22 years of age. I secretly snuck into the back row during another lecture, and this is what I saw. From the back, a third of students had lecture notes open, another third had lecture notes and Facebook open, and the others just had Facebook open and were scrolling through TikTok on their phones. And this is why we need chocolate to engage the unique distracted minds of our Generation Z students. For storytelling, I use different story cards like this one. In this example, we learn the story of seven-year-old Renee, who's been bitten on the leg by a red-backed spider and develops severe pain, sweating, and goosebumps over her leg. I call these the epic cards, or emergency physician important cases cards. I have 86 of these cards, for 86 different emergency conditions. We also use the chocolate of cooperative games. Every week, each student will spend 45 minutes using the epic cards cut into jigsaw pieces. Students work together in groups to match the case histories to the correct diagnosis. Chocolate three is the competitive game Kahoot. Okay, seven-year-old playing under the house, delayed onset, severe leg pain, what are the expected examination findings? Each week we spend an hour doing this multi-choice game using quiz questions based on the epic cards. Students are very competitive and love to engage with this quiz format. Chocolate 4 is role play drama games. 10 out of my 12 lectures I do a role play. These are also based on the epic cards. In this scenario we see I am the doctor and the student role plays as the patient. I am taking the pulse in a person with septic shock. Then we also reverse the roles and the student is now the doctor and I am the patient. Here, the student is asking me about my abdominal pain and I'm giving her clues as to what the diagnosis may be. Sometimes we're all pretending to be the doctors together, such as in this trauma scenario where students are learning how to examine a patient in a motorbike accident. We also do dress ups. Here we are learning about drug overdoses, which are a serious problem in our community. This student has had a morphine overdose and has small pupils. This next student has large pupils and a fast heart rate from a methamphetamine overdose. This exercise is designed to help students differentiate the different drug syndromes using novel role play scenarios. Chocolate 5 was actually from student feedback suggesting, hey Zaf, we need more music during our learning. So each week we now have a pop song related to the theme of the week, which we play at the start of each lecture and during the three hour workshops. So week four, Chest Pain has one of my favorite songs, Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Don't tell my heart, my achy breaking heart, I just don't think you'd understand. Similar to the food pyramid, here we have the pyramid of fondue teaching, 
Words and lectures are a small triangle at the top. Games are a larger area at the bottom of the pyramid. In fact, playing games and role plays with my students equates to 36 hours. That's 60% of my semester. So, to engage our Gen Z students, we need less words on slides and more pictures. Along with pictures, we need more music, drama, and role plays. Along with role plays, we need more interactive games. So that's it. That's my chocolate fondue recipe. And I encourage you to create your own irresistible fondue. Bon appétit.